What is that? No way. No way. All right, children, I genuinely cannot believe what is right behind me here. This is a web spinner or an insect in the order Embiopthera. Now, specifically, I think this is a member of the genus Oligotoma. Uh, maybe Saunders Eye. I'm gonna have to get an up close, in hand look at it to be able to confirm what species it is. However, I cannot wait to present this amazing insect to you because their biology is absolutely insane. And these things are some of the most underrated insects and really interesting little insects. So let's learn all about the web spinner. Having this individual in hand, looking overall at how it looks, its general appearance, this is definitely in the genus Oligotoma. I believe this is the species Oligotoma saundersi, or the Saunders web spinner, which is actually a lifer for me. This identification is based on the fact that the thorax is mostly a light brownish color, which contrasts from the head being black and the rest of the body also being much darker. The other Oligotoma species in range should have much less contrast. It would either be entirely black or the brown would, on the thorax would not be nearly as contrasting as it is on this individual. Web spinners are a very poorly researched group of insects and honestly their taxonomy is not very well known because of this. It is thought that based on genetic analysis, they are the closest relatives to the phasmida or the stick insects and leaf insects. So this is crazy that this guy was just coming right up to this light. And I can actually call it this guy because I know for sure this is a male. When it comes to Embioptera, or these web spinners, only the males have wings. And some species, both the males and females lack wings, but all female web spinners lack wings. Only the males are flighted. Now, you might be wondering why this is called a web spinner. I mean, this doesn't really look like a spider. And it's because it's not. These things actually live in colonies where they build these elaborate webs of silk in the ground, in the soil, in the leaf litter, and under wood. And they actually raise their children. Now, they have all the babies and the juveniles live in the soil and the leaf litter in the protection of the web nest that is built. Many winged species like this one right here, the Saunders web spinner, the males will fly out of their colonies to find potential mates. This behavior is the reason why basically around 99% of people's encounters with these rare insects are with males that are flighted. While it takes a lot of effort to find females and juveniles in the ground, most people tend to find the winged males flying around, and in this case, a winged male was attracted to this bright light. Now the name Embioptera actually comes from a pretty interesting origin. It comes from the Greek word embios, meaning very energetic. And that is because you wouldn't be able to tell from this one just sitting calmly on my hand. They are very fast runners on the ground and even are known to be able to run both forwards and backwards at pretty impressive speeds for an insect. Now I've seen a few web spinners in leaf litter while searching for stuff like ants and spiders underground in the leaf litter. But the nymphs are wingless, just like the females, and are pretty small, almost translucent nymphs before they turn into these darker adults. But this is my first time ever seeing an adult, and it's really cool seeing one of these winged males for the first time. And I'm pretty sure this is a lifer species for me too. Now web spinners, especially the males, even just ignoring the wings, are very weirdly flattened and elongated in appearance, with kind of an ant-looking head, but a very narrow rest of the body. And the legs are very strangely positioned on the body. Instead of with all six legs being relatively packed together, the legs on Embioptera are kind of spread throughout the body, with the front legs being very close to the head, but the back legs being very close to the start of the abdomen, so the legs look much more spread out than normal for an insect. Alright children, hope you liked learning about web spinners, now it's time to let this little guy back onto the wall. If you enjoyed learning about the amazing web spinner, then make sure to check out this video right here, where we attract a bunch of really cool insects using a light. Enjoy!